today for our talk, we wanted to um, give everyone an, our, an overview of our approach to creating a truly immersive um, course experience for our participants. So for those who aren't familiar with Academy, um, we provide management and leadership um, capability building courses through the Open edX platform, of course, in a B2B model um, for participants worldwide. Um, so these participants range from mid-level managers to senior executives um, and, you know, are from a variety of industries. Um, in each cohort, there are about 50 to 200 people, so not a traditional MOOC, pretty small um, scale. So since we launched, um, we learned a lot. Um, we've also gathered some interesting data and feedback from our courses. Um, we've worked with over 125 different clients. Um, our participants have an over 90% completion rate for our courses. Um, and 85% of participants going through a McKinsey Academy course would recommend it to a colleague. So really impressive numbers so far, but definitely a lot to learn. So when I was trying to think about our course development process and how we actually build and deliver our courses, I was just kind of thinking that it's kind of like baking cookies. Um, and so bear with me here. Um, so in the kitchen for a McKinsey Academy course, we have three main roles. Um, we have first an instructional designer who is in charge of um, literally designing and creating the course and working with subject matter experts um, to create the whole course experience. Um, we have a program manager who is the one um, managing the entire work plan of a course. And then we have someone like me, who is a course operations coordinator, who is the one actually delivering the course to participants and managing that entire learning experience. So before I get into the details about how actually courses are built, I kind of wanted to pause and um, just sort of introduce our um, participant experience. From McKinsey, we've sort of bucketed our participant experience into three main categories. Um, so first, we have our individual learning, um, which is a self-paced course content. So it's the videos that you watch, it's the interactive exercises or self-reflections that you do at your own pace um, throughout the course um, schedule. The next piece is our group projects, which is a really a cornerstone element of the McKinsey Academy experience. And so for each course we have, um, we organize all of our participants into groups of four or so um, users, generally from the same company, um, who are tasked with tackling a real world um, use case or case study um, that really allows them to apply what they've learned in the individual learning component to a real world example. Um, so a good example would be we have a team management course and so the group work project for that is um, each individual is responsible for planning a coaching session for someone on their team in the workplace. And then once they plan that coaching session, according to like the structure of and the frameworks that we've, they've learned in the individual component, um, the group will come together and then workshop each other's coaching sessions and provide feedback to each other. So really direct, immediate applicability to um, what they're doing in the workplace. And our final bucket here, the social learning component, is mostly demonstrated in our um, course discussion forums, which um, we moderate from a course operations perspective, as well as our McKinsey TAs, who are facilitating posts, who are answering questions, um, and really making sure that the cohort engages with each other. So if you think through those three different components, um, these map onto any of our courses. So no matter what content. So anything from business strategy to math and challenging conversations, all of our courses somehow incorporate those three um, types of learning. All right. Okay, so back to the cookies. Um, so I just wanted also to take a step back and think about now that we've seen the sort of the participant experience and what a user will go through for a McKinsey Academy course, um, wanted to walk through sort of the back end process of our team at Academy and um, what we do to um, develop and deliver courses. So our course timeline is divided into three sections. We have production, launch, prep, and run. And these um, sections are applicable to all our courses. So whether a course is five weeks or eight weeks, whether it's um, you know, a cohort of 200 or 20, um, we go through the same exact process. So the heavy lifting really comes in our production process, which you can see takes 15 to 20 weeks um, of the whole timeline. And this is where our instructional designers and our program managers are meeting with subject matter experts, um, to different faculty to not only create the vision for the course, but also produce all the individual assets of 
um, a course. So, you know, PDF takeaways and also video content assessments. Um, and beyond that, we're also building into Studio. And so um, I know it's only one bullet item here, but this is really the bread and butter of the production process. And um, you know, I like to think that the reason why we have such great um, completion rates for our courses is it's because we really value the QA process. We do um, an alpha review, a beta review, and oftentimes we'll take our courses into a beta version and have participants um, in the market test them and then give us feedback. So um, it's a really robust process that um, we value very much and I think um, really pays off in the end when we're moving into um, our course launch. So for our launch prep, um, it's the few weeks before our course launches, and this is when um, we are enrolling participants into the course and onboarding them all. I'm getting them familiar with the McKinsey Academy platform, holding kickoff WebEx sessions, um, just so everyone gets a feel for how to not only use the platform, but also what the course is. And our final stage here is run, which is where the rubber hits the road. Um, and that's where our course operations team really takes the lead in um, making sure that the participants are engaged, they're completing their assignments. Um, they're also working with TAs to facilitate discussions on the discussion forum. Um, and finally, at the end of a course run, we are um, soliciting feedback from our participants and feeding it back into the whole production loop.